played it for years on end. And I was just like, and then I saw it again. I was like, wait, I've played this before. Let me get good at it this time. <laughs> I've always known Puyo Puyo. Oh, we have. RJ versus Akamasen. Akamasen, that's how we pronounce it. Also a first to 10. Only Grand Finals will be a first to 15. Yes, Grand Finals will be first to 15. And who knows who will be in the Grand Finals. Oh crap, I want to get up. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, it'll be interesting to watch these two play because they have a lot in common for their gameplays. Both of them play a lot more with a lot more measurement. That was not the right word, but whatever. Um, I don't want to say intellect. Um, they play a lot more measured. Yeah. The they two of them, so it'll be interesting to see how they bounce off each other. Yeah, they think ahead very much. At least I feel like how You are correct. Looking like a com a Kamasen has a pretty clear board right there. RJ is doing some down stacking. And through some neat garbage. Oh yeah. He's been on RJ. They are still playing neutral. Akana-sen is doing some up stacking, surprisingly. Hey, up stacking is good. It is good. You stack right, you can take an attack, and then just dish out a devastating blow. It's basically my signature move in this game. I don't blame you. Because it's like, hey, I'll, do, I'll take the garbage, I'll hit with my big attacks, and then I might get a stupid combo afterwards. It's just like, hold all that damage, son. Mm-hmm. Because I'm because I'm a relatively newer player, I get a lot I get a lot more garbage than I send, so I've been working on my down stacking lately. That's a big area of mine mm -hmm. where I've been trying to work on. I mean, if you know you could take it, it's always decent to take in the garbage. More often than not, it comes in neat. Not always, but usually. It can come in handy. And it's just like, wow, I'll just use this as my attack. Yeah. Because if somebody sends you a uh, Tetris of garbage blocks, yeah, you, can you just gotta send the IPs right there, you're, and you're good. I mean, it doesn't always work, but it's pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. That was RJ's game that he just won right there. So it's 2 0. Mr. Fact, we will be using English voices in the next Tetris tournament we do. <laughs> Japanese voices are. No, thank you. Because it opens up to listen to Japanese J and L. <laughs> it 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 brings in the weebs. I'm not here for double Lumina. That was a great prophecy T spin from RJ. Oh yeah. Alright, what do we got here? Is RJ gonna be aggressive? Because the thing is, I've noticed this RJ Oh Kamasen dies. Yep. RJ takes the next game. You no, mean Ray Mysterio, yes. Ray Mysterio. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Something about our game, I feel. I think. Something. Yeah. That's the thing about this oh. game. It's just so mesmerizing. It yeah. distracts you. Tetris is a mesmerizing game. Yes. It's therapeutic. That's what it is. Okay. What was it? I remember. It was... RJ seems to have an issue where he doesn't, like, turn up the heat when the opponent's like... I mean, he did it here, but... Because it was pretty obvious. But RJ doesn't turn up the heat as hard as some other players when they're mm. about to get spiked. I see. You feel like he could be handling the, uh, the garbage blocks he's getting better. No, I'm saying when he gets his opponent into, like, oh, okay. danger yes, zone. Yes, yes. Perfect clear from RJ right there. His aggression doesn't, like, increase or anything. I see. Yes. But let's rephrase that. It increases... But not like other players. Yeah. I get what you mean. He's just like, I am RJ. <laughs> Hold this attack. Nice setup. One extra good C spin. Yeah, I was expecting Kamasen. I was expecting RJ to win this. He has a lot of garbage blocks to deal with. I don't know if he's going to be able to handle them. I mean honesty. the whole set. Oh, in the whole set? <laughs> I was kind of expecting it, because I've played both these players before, and 
I feel like RJ does actually edge out in a lot of categories. Mm. Like his speed is higher and his setup ability is really good. Yeah. It does feel like the best Kamasen has going for him is just really solid play without missed drops or anything like that. Yeah. He plays very well, a very good, consistent game. Mm -hmm. Very uh, even in both areas. Yes. But I feel like his... I feel like his overall, like, a damage per second is not as high as it can be. Yeah. Ooh. And then when he does miss drop... Oh, oh wait! But he's handling oh, it. Oh, he could have turned that into a Trinity, I think. He could have? Yeah, that miss drop, I think, set it up. Huh. I'm not sure, though. I would have had to see it slow-mo. We'll get a good instant replay from that. Oh, we got him from RJ. He's just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, he's just playing. <laughs> not, yeah. This is just straight up neutral right now. I think RJ, yeah. Yeah, RJ was looking for a donation there, but he's covered up his hole. Mm -hmm. Better make it count. He had a combo. I don't know. Akamasen is keeping up. RJ had a combo opportunity there. RJ does not take combos. I don't know why he doesn't. I guess he's just like always looking for the next big setup, but it's like, come on. Yeah. What if you get the combo? Oh, Kamasen is kicking up the speed. Let's see it. Oh, that's a spike. Yeah, oh. What will he do here? He's going to T-spin to try to save it. He'll do anything. He's going to protect it. No, that was not a good placement from Kamasen. But RJ is not in position to, like, send attacks either. He can't, like, risk setting up a T-spin because what if Kamasen is just, like, a die? Yeah. Here it is, big attack. Now he can work on down stacking. They both, they both got to their down stacks at, like, the same time. That's really? Insane. That's intense. So this is a closer match than I thought. Oh, yeah. Look at their scores. Yeah. They've been, like, going for blow for blow here. He's defying all expectations. Oh, he's getting... Akamasen has good RNG right now, so maybe he can make it work. I'm not so sure. Oh, and he has the triple right there. Well, RJ has a combo on deck. What's he gonna but do? But he has another double right on his hand. Hold up, hold up. This is a chance. Yep. He didn't take and it. Almost a Tetris, but not just quite. Yeah. And Tetris for Makama son. Yeah, RJ had to put it there. He hesitated and then put the, uh, the L piece in a really, uh, a really compromised position. Yep, yep. Uh. Wait. But a comma set has slowed down a little bit, you can tell. Oh, wait a minute. The blue piece is the J piece. Yeah, the blue piece is the J piece. And the orange piece is the... Sometimes they swap the colors. I do not blame you for mixing them up. No, no, I never know what they are. Nice. That was a quick match compared to the last one, and it right for a Kamasen. I was able to come up with a rule of thumb for figuring out what the red and green pieces are. Hmm. This is really easy, and I can't believe I didn't th think of it earlier. I'd love to Zed hear it. Zed is red. Zed is red. Okay. I'll keep I that in mind. I can't believe I didn't come up with that. Who did? Me. Oh, no, you I did. See, I can't oh, okay. believe I didn't come up with that until recently. Ah, I see. Yes, yes. But then orange and blue. Yeah. Don't even talk to me about those. <laughs> Akamasen had some good uh, space that he was able to deal with. That's how he took that match. J equals blue because blue J's. Blue J's. You know what? I'll use that. All right. RJ sending out pieces quicker, but... Kamasen is getting rid of pieces quicker. Oh, nice. If he has the right pieces for it. Nice fix. But now he can't. Nope. He's just going to have to take the single and call it a day. Oh. Look at RJ setting up those things. Oh, yeah. He did a great job with that one misdrop. 
Here comes Kamasen. He's being aggro. Yep. He wants to spike him. Maybe he's feeling a little pressure to just like get a couple more games on the board. Happy mm -hmm. from a Sorry. That's all right. He dropping this wire on you, and I know the reason why. But whatever. Oh, RJ's got uh, SCS. I don't think the Kamasen's going to keep up. No good. Nope. Oh yeah, sure. There we go. Perfect. There, now it won't get bodied. <laughs> it continues. While we fixed the wire, we turned around, and the world changed. Akama-sen has some good pieces right now, but he's not making many plans with them. Oh, nice drop from akama -sen. But he's, he's not letting it bring him down. Nope. And RJ, look at RJ. Jeez, he's just sitting here with the most beautiful garbage I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Dude, RJ's just going in. Dude, yep. he's in murder mode right now. Yep, Get him. Yep. Oh, my God. What a beast. He's not stopping. But neither is Kamasen. Yep, no, he's going for it. Oh, Miss Empire. I think he was trying to a uh, donation there. Blew it. Oh, that I, RJ's I don't know if you saw that eyepiece misdrop, but... Mm. Ah, <sighs> it's split second timing oh like that. God. That always gets you. RJ's aggression was irresistible in that game. Yep. And look at this. RJ has received the most fortunate garbage pieces too. Yep. Yep. Look at this. The garbage is just perfectly lined up for RJ. Mm -hmm. But it's lined up pretty good for Akana Sen too, because he nearly got rid of all of it. Only one more line of garbage left. Yeah, seriously. But it turned into three now. Akana Sen slowing down a little bit. It's tough though. Game oh, the advantage. Second, you could tell the second that he took to think about it, all that garbage came in. Yeah, and it's messy garbage. Look at that. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of work at him. He's gonna take this one back. I respect this. A constant plan here. He doesn't have anything for this. I don't know if he. Oh, oh. and another eyepiece nice missed drop. Wrong spot. That is the game for RJ and the Kamasen. I thought that was pretty entertaining. It was.